Welcome to the AVT booth at the Vision Show 2014. My name is Annie and I will be showing you our camera demos. In this demo, we will show that it is possible to image very small objects with our industrial cameras by using the appropriate lenses. We show a Manta camera fitted with a telecentric lens imaging a very small gem. You can see on the screen a very crisp magnifying image of the stone and can see every scratch and piece of dust on it. By choosing the right camera resolution in combination with the correct lenses, you can inspect microscopic objects without a microscope. Here we are demonstrating our Pearl Eye Long Wave Infrared Camera for Thermal Imaging. With this camera, you can measure temperature differences within an image with a very high precision of only 85 millikelvin. On this image, you can see the warm areas in yellow and the cold areas in blue. For example, you can see on this image that this person's nose and the glass of his spectacles are darker than the rest of his face, which means they are significantly colder. The hand of this gentleman is not quite as warm as his head. In this demo, we will show you that you can measure temperatures of individual pixels in real time. The diagonal line on the image shows the pixels that are measured in the graphic next to the image. If I move my hand along this line, you can see the temperature peak moving on the graph from left to right. Finally, we will demonstrate the capabilities of our new Gold Eye Shortwave Infrared Camera. Some materials interact differently with infrared light than with visible light. Here you can see a conventional CCD camera and a gold eye infrared camera imaging the same scene. The mask of the terrorist is printed with a black infrared transparent ink. So you can see that you can identify the face of the man beneath it on the infrared image on the left, but not on the conventional image on the right. This kind of ink is used, for example, in banknotes to prove their authenticity. If you look at the bottles in the background, you will notice that you can barely see the fill level on this conventional image because the drink is transparent. However, the drink appears black in the infrared image. That is because water is not transparent in infrared light. It actually absorbs infrared waves. This property is used, for example, to control fill levels in the industry or to measure the water concentration in fruit to detect damage and sort it accordingly. Thank you for listening.